Hello, this is Andy, one of the Frisky Pirates at Taunt.com, and today we're going to do one of my favorite little tricks, the perky nipple for fashion designing in games like Second Life and InView, and I want to show both ways how to do it. So we're about to get started. Now, I know that since I'm using Camtasia, sometimes this picture just looks all fuzzy and uh, one color. When you try this in real life, it'll look a lot clearer, but I like Camtasia because the menus stay so nice and clean. So the first thing we're going to do is pull open some templates. And here's the Linden Lab basic uh, t-shirt template. And you might look around the web for Chip Midnight's templates or Robin Wood's. They're a lot easier to work with because they're so detailed. Uh, I used Chip's, I believe, and I found out whereabouts I want to make the perky nipple for the t-shirt. And it's going to be right around there. First thing I do is start a new layer. And I take the circular marquee tool and I hold down Alt and Shift and I start to drag. And you can also use the space bar to position things. I'm going to zoom in a bit. And I'm going to turn off the red for now. Next thing we're going to do is fill this with a color. I'd say fill it always with yellow, just easy to remember. You can actually use any color except black, white, and shades of gray. So just to make it easy, let's say always fill it with yellow. And that's the foreground color. And I have it on Feather 1 Anti-Alias checked. Now we're going to go down here, and in the layer style, we're going to do a bevel and emboss. And these I have, I'm just going to set these to the generics today, the defaults. You want to play around with these to try different settings. I'm just going to go with this and it works out fairly well with these settings. And now here's the fun exciting part. You may have said, you know, what does this fill do? Well, fill removes the color fill. And so we're going to drop this to zero. And now all we have is shading. So opacity does everything, fill does just the fill. I'm going to do a control D to deselect. I'm going to do another layer. And I'm going to turn on my little guides again. And we're going to go back and do a little smaller section. And this on this next layer, we're going to do the same thing. Back to the layer styles and then the bevel and emboss. And then again, drop fill to zero. And I'm going to select. Now we've got a few choices. To make things simple, I'm going to merge the layers. So I have control and click them both. I'm right clicking, and at the bottom of this it says merge layers. I'm going to do a control J to duplicate the layer, and a control T to transform. I'm going to hold down shift and drag the second nipple over to the left side breast. And I'm going to use my aligners. Let's see if I can get those back. And so, get that into position. And once again, I'm going to select both layers and merge them. Just You don't have to do this, but it's just easier than working on each one independently. And now we do, now we can control opacity. So let's pull up a t-shirt, for example. And then I'm going to drop these other items. And I would say you want to be in the 10, less is more. So I would say you want to be in the 10 to 20 range. You want to be very subtle. This looks silly on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's like, hey, do you got poker chips in your shirt? No. You want it if you want perky nipples, you want them to be subtle in the 10, 15, maybe 20 range. And I would play with those settings I showed earlier so they're not as hard edged. And that's how you use the bevel and emboss to make perky nipples. Now let me show again how to do it with the InView uh, game. Here is what I like to do sometimes if I don't know where a template's lining up is I'll throw the template on the avatar and find out which area we need to work with. Now here's the InView document and I did the same thing 
where I found out the area I needed to be. And what I'm going to do is drop the opacity of this template way down to there. And we're going to repeat. It's just uh, the elliptical marquee tool, Shift and Alt. I'm going to get rid of uh, my little highlights there. I'm going to fill. Oops, I'm on the wrong layer, so I'm going to go back up here. Create a new layer. I'm going to fill. Add a layer style, bevel and emboss. I'm dropping the fill to zero. Control D. Now I'm going to make another layer. Fill, layer style, bevel and emboss. Drop fill to zero. Merge these two layers. I'm going to do Control J to duplicate the layer. Zoom out a little bit. Control T to transform, and I'm holding Shift to get a nice straight drag. Oops. see what I've done here. All right, bring that over. I'm going to merge these layers again. Drop the opacity in the 10 to 20 range. take off the template and we could bring back let's say the imview t-shirt and again opacity needs to be s subtle rather than and again those are a bit on the poker chip side so you'd want to soften them in bevel and emboss and that is the taunt.com perky nipple tutorial I hope you enjoyed this technique. Drop by uh, the site anytime for more video tutorials. Thank you.